Here to be dumped into the atmosphere won't disappear It's gonna last a hundred years We'll trap and heat up in the air The recent temperatures of less than one degree Here's the climate's inertia It responds slowly Oceans two miles deep Water's high specific heat Means the oceans absorb the heat Water feet And heat absorbing ice over Greenland And the poles absorb more heat It's kept things under control Keep in mind the notion that the ocean is a huge carbon sink Keeping CO2 levels just below the brink It's looking like the seas with the dying coral reefs can't absorb more CO2 What we gonna do? Emissions over 9 billion tons a year and rising Is there a tipping point over the horizon? Is there an increase that will release Positive feedback with no turning back? Keep those fossil fuels in the ground We don't need that carbon up there Keep those fossil fuels in the ground Another couple million years. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. It's time to protect the atmosphere. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. I need one degree C seems fine. No one's dying from the heat except sometimes. What's the big deal if we go four or five degrees? It's just warmth. We'll all survive. Some is fun. Who likes cold? Maybe we'll thrive. Life's sweet in hot Iberia and tropical Liberia. The Russians would love a warmer Siberia. But wait up one degree. We're melting Arctic seas. Note the glaciers in retreat, if you please. Arctic sea ice cover fell way down in 07 with a repeat performance in 2011. And the thickness of the ice is declining faster, a harbinger of climatological disaster. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. We don't need that carbon up there. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. Keep it buried for another couple million years. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. It's time to protect the atmosphere. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. If emissions keep rising at expected rates, there'll be no summer sea ice in a few decades. We'll see permafrost melting with potential gain of billions of tons of released methane, which traps 20 times the heat of CO2. If that methane escapes, the climate is screwed. As positive feedback unleashes more warming, we need to act now on this one degree warning. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. We don't need that carbon up there. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. Keep it buried for another couple million years. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. It's time to protect the atmosphere. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. If we let CO2 keep rising, the effects will hardly be surprising. Coastline habitats in disarray. We know this now, we gotta act today. Not to mention the danger of sea level rise from thermal expansion and melting glacial ice. It could be many meters, or maybe one or two, but they're not gonna like it in Tuvalu. To avoid a future where most wildlife dies, we need to, we got to stop this temperature rise. The CO2's effect isn't just in degrees. Yes, CO2 has increased ocean acidity, that's right. pH fallen, ocean life filled with grief at the relentless demise of the Earth's coral reefs, a system on which half a billion depend. Reefs, heat waves, oceans rising, part of a trend of damage unleashed by a one degree gain. If we go up two or three, imagine the pain. So let's stop the warming. Let's do it now. Hang on for the next part where we can see how. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. We don't need that carbon up there. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. Keep it buried for another couple million years. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. It's time to protect the atmosphere. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. We don't need that carbon up there. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. Keep it buried for another couple million years. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground. It's time to protect the atmosphere. Keep those fossil fuels in the ground.